More than 50 years have passed since the rise of a music artist who has become synonymous with timeless classics and a distinctive style. This artist, Diana Ross, spent over 80 years pursuing career success, leaving behind a legacy that still resonates today. However, despite her many accomplishments, tragedy struck. Learn about the unfortunate end of Diana Ross's life in this video. Let's delve into the details together. Moreover, Diana Ross was born on March 26, 1944, in Detroit, Michigan, as the second of six children in her family. Growing up in a Baptist household, she was surrounded by music and faith, which played an important role in her upbringing. Living close to Smokey Robinson, the music artist was inspired by the sounds of Motown that surrounded her. However, when she was just seven years old, her mother contracted tuberculosis. This significant event led Diana and her siblings to move in with their maternal grandparents in Bessemer, Alabama. This change brought about a different environment, shaping her early experiences and influencing her future artistic journey. The bonds formed during this time would stay with her as she navigated the complexities of life and the music industry, laying the groundwork for her incredible career. Before achieving fame as a music artist, Diana Ross received an education that prepared her for various creative pursuits. She attended Cass Technical High School, a prestigious institution known for its rigorous arts and science programs. Here, the music artist studied a range of subjects, including fashion design, modeling, and cosmetology. These classes allowed her to explore different forms of self-expression and creativity, laying the groundwork for her future career in entertainment. While working towards her diploma, Diana Ross held down several jobs to make ends meet. One of these positions was as a bus girl at Hudson's department store, where she made history by becoming the first African-American employee to hold that particular job. This experience taught her the value of hard work and perseverance, even in the face of discrimination and adversity. To further supplement her income, the music artist also provided hairdressing services to clients. Her skills in this area were likely honed during her time at Cass Tech, where she had taken cosmetology classes. By combining her talents and determination, Diana Ross managed to support herself while still finding opportunities to express her artistic side. Throughout her early years, Diana Ross demonstrated a remarkable ability to balance multiple responsibilities while never losing sight of her dreams. Whether studying diverse subjects or holding down various jobs, she remained committed to her passions and continued to hone her craft. These experiences would ultimately pave the way for her successful career as a singer, actress, and cultural icon. In 1959, when she was just 15 years old, Diana Ross became a member of the Primettes, a sister group to the Primes. This musical ensemble quickly gained attention due to their undeniable talents. The Primettes' exceptional skills did not go unnoticed by Motown executives who were impressed by what they heard. As a result, the young musicians were invited to audition for the record label. Their successful audition led to them being signed with Motown, but not before changing their name to the Supremes. This marked the start of a remarkable journey for the music artist, one that would solidify her place in music history. In 1964, the music industry witnessed a significant shift as the Supremes achieved their first number one hit with Where Did Our Love Go? This marked the beginning of a series of extraordinary accomplishments for the group, propelling them into the limelight. Prior to this breakthrough, the Supremes had been trying to make a name for themselves since 1959. However, it wasn't until 1963 when Diana Ross took over as the lead singer that the group started gaining traction. Her powerful voice and captivating stage presence played a crucial role in solidifying the group's popularity among fans. Under Ross's leadership, the Supremes went on to release several more chart-topping hits, including Baby Love, Stop, and The Name of Love, and You Can't Hurry Love. These songs resonated with audiences worldwide, cementing the Supremes' place in musical history. As the lead singer, Diana Ross became the face of the group, often appearing solo on album covers and promotional materials, while she shared the spotlight with her fellow bandmates Mary Wilson and Florence Ballard. Ross was undeniably the driving force behind the Supremes' rise to fame. Despite facing numerous challenges along the way, the Supremes continued to thrive throughout the 1960s. Their contributions to music during this time left an indelible mark, inspiring future generations of musicians to pursue their dreams. And even after the group disbanded in 1977, Diana Ross's influence remained strong, both as a solo artist and as a symbol of female empowerment in the entertainment industry. In 1970, the music artist Diana Ross made the bold decision to venture into a solo career, 
leaving behind the successful group that had brought her fame, the Supremes. Her first release under her own name was the self-titled album Diana Ross, which served as an introduction to her unique sound and style. One of the standout tracks from this album was the hit single, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. This song became an instant classic, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and earning the music artist a Grammy nomination. Its uplifting message and powerful vocals resonated with audiences, making it a staple on radio stations across the country. But the music artist didn't stop at music. She also ventured into acting, starring in the critically acclaimed film Lady Sings the Blues in 1972. Based on the life of jazz singer Billie Holiday, this role required the music artist to dig deep and showcase her acting chops. Her performance earned her widespread praise and a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. This classic film marked just the beginning of the music artist's foray into acting. Over the years, she appeared in numerous television shows and movies, including Mahogany and The Wiz. These roles allowed her to further establish herself as a multi-talented entertainer, capable of captivating audiences both on stage and on screen. Despite these accomplishments, the music artist remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to release albums throughout the decades, experimenting with different sounds and styles while staying true to her roots. And her impact can still be felt today, with her music inspiring generations of artists and fans alike. Diana Ross, the renowned music artist, has had her fair share of romantic connections throughout her life. In the early stages of her career, she was involved with Motown CEO Barry Gordy. This relationship, although significant, eventually came to an end. Subsequently, the music artist began another relationship with Robert Ellis Silverstein, a prominent music executive. Their union resulted in the birth of three children. However, their romance did not last forever, and they too parted ways. Later in life, Diana Ross found love again when she married Arne Nice Jr., a successful Norwegian shipping magnate. Together, they were blessed with two sons before ultimately deciding to go separate ways. Through all these relationships, the music artist continued to captivate audiences around the globe with her soulful voice and electrifying performances. Her personal life may have been filled with changes and transitions, but one thing remained constant, her unwavering dedication to her craft and her fans. In the 1980s, the music artist Diana Ross reached the pinnacle of her career. Her album Diana, released in 1980, brought her immense success. This iconic piece featured chartbusters such as I'm Coming Out and Upside Down, which resonated deeply with audiences worldwide and solidified her position as a dominant force in the industry. The track I'm Coming Out became an anthem of self-affirmation and empowerment, while Upside Down showcased her ability to adapt to contemporary trends, blending disco rhythms with soulful vocals seamlessly. These songs remain classics in their own right and continue to captivate listeners even today. Moreover, this era saw another significant collaboration between Diana Ross and fellow musician Lionel Richie. Together, they created the smash hit Endless Love. A testament to romantic passion, it went on to become Diana Ross's final Billboard Hot 100 number one hit, further etching her legacy into popular music history. This period was indeed a golden chapter in the illustrious career of Diana Ross, marked by remarkable achievements and unforgettable tunes. Each release during this time not only reflected her prowess, but also transcended genres, appealing to diverse audiences, and leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of 80s music. In the late 20th century, the music artist Diana Ross maintained her successful career through album releases and international performances. During the 1990s, she hosted the American Music Awards, further solidifying her status as a prominent figure in the industry. Moreover, she participated in the notable charity single, We Are the World, alongside other renowned artists for the USA for Africa initiative. This effort demonstrated her commitment to social causes and her influence in the realms of both music and humanitarianism. The music artist's dedication throughout the years resulted in an outpouring of recognition and acclaim. Amongst these honors were several prestigious awards, including Billboard's Lifetime Achievement Award in 1993, which acknowledged her remarkable contributions to the industry over multiple decades. These achievements served as testaments to her lasting impact on popular culture and resonated deeply with fans across generations. As the 1990s progressed, Diana Ross showed no signs of slowing down. Her undying passion for performing translated into memorable shows, while her timeless classics remain cherished by audiences worldwide. 
Through it all, the music artist stayed true to herself and her artistry, qualities that had become synonymous with her name since her early days in Motown. In late 2002, the music artist Diana Ross found herself in a legal predicament. After checking into a substance abuse treatment center in Tucson, Arizona, she was arrested for driving under the influence on December 30th of that same year. This incident occurred while she was still receiving treatment, which added complexity to her situation. The news of Diana Ross's arrest quickly spread, causing shock and disappointment among her fans. However, it was also a reminder that even those who have achieved great success can struggle with personal issues. The music artist took responsibility for her actions and faced the legal consequences of her behavior. After her arrest, Diana Ross pled no contest to the charges brought against her. As part of her sentencing, she was required to serve a two-day jail term. This punishment was carried out near her Connecticut estate, allowing her to remain close to home during this difficult time. Throughout her career, Diana Ross has been known for her powerful voice and captivating stage presence. Her contributions to the world of music are numerous and have left a lasting impact on the industry. Despite this legal setback, she continued to perform and release new music, proving her resilience and determination. Facing legal consequences can be challenging, but for Diana Ross, it was also an opportunity to learn and grow. By taking responsibility for her actions and serving her sentence, she demonstrated maturity and accountability. Today, she remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, inspiring others through her music and perseverance. In the 21st century, the unstoppable Diana Ross has carried her musical legacy forward, continuing to record and perform for audiences around the globe. During the 2000s and 2010s, she released new albums and maintained a busy touring schedule, treating fans to her iconic hits and engaging stage presence. One notable achievement came in 2007 when Diana Ross received a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame, solidifying her place among entertainment legends. This recognition was followed by more accolades, further highlighting her influence on popular culture. In 2012, the music artist was celebrated with a Lifetime Achievement Award during the annual Songwriters Hall of Fame ceremony. These prestigious awards were presented to her in appreciation of her remarkable career and lasting contributions to music. As if these accomplishments weren't enough, Diana Ross continued to inspire future generations through her collaborative efforts with contemporary musicians. For instance, in 2012, she teamed up with rapper Kanye West and singer-songwriter John Legend for a remake of her hit song, I'm Coming Out, which became a massive success and introduced her timeless sound to a whole new audience. The pinnacle of Diana Ross's achievements arrived in 2016, when former United States President Barack Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. This esteemed recognition acknowledged her significant impact on American culture and her dedication to various charitable causes throughout her career. To this day, Diana Ross continues to shine brightly in the music industry, serving as both a mentor and inspiration to aspiring singers everywhere. Her everlasting charm and undeniable talent have left indelible marks on several generations, ensuring that her legacy will live on forever. Indeed, the music artist's enchanting melodies and captivating performances remain etched in our hearts and minds, standing testaments to her extraordinary career. Diana Ross's influence reaches beyond the music industry, leaving a significant mark in other artistic fields. One notable example is the character of Dina Jones in the Broadway musical Dreamgirls, which was inspired by the music artist herself. The story follows a singing group's rise to fame, reflecting some aspects of Ross's journey with the Supremes. The legacy of Diana Ross is intertwined with her influential career spanning over five decades. She has received countless accolades, including a special Tony Award for her one-woman show An Evening with Diana Ross, and a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. These honors underscore her profound contributions to the entertainment world. As a singer and performer, Ross has influenced many artists who have followed in her footsteps. Her distinctive sound and captivating stage presence remain inspiring examples for aspiring musicians today. Moreover, her dedication to her craft encourages those who seek to make their own indelible marks in the arts. This classic music artist's work transcends generations, appealing to audiences young and old alike. Many still cherish her timeless hits like Ain't No Mountain High Enough and I Will Survive. As these songs continue to resonate with fans, so does her lasting impact upon popular culture. Indeed, Diana Ross's influence can also be seen in various forms of media 
further solidifying her status as an icon. From movies to television shows, her undeniable talent continues to inspire creators across different platforms. By stepping into diverse roles both on and off screen, she demonstrates versatility and adaptability within the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment. In conclusion, Diana Ross's impact on the world of music and beyond is immeasurable. Through her artistry and perseverance, she has left behind a rich tapestry of achievements and memories for future generations to appreciate. As we look back at her remarkable career, it becomes clear that her influence will continue to ripple throughout the annals of history. Born on March 26, 1944, in Detroit, Michigan, Diana Ross was the second of six children in her family. Her father worked as a U.S. Army soldier and later became a lab assistant while her mother was a school teacher. Music played a significant role in Diana's upbringing. She sang in the church choir and grew fond of Motown record songs, which greatly influenced her future career. As a teenager, Diana formed a group called the Primettes, along with friends Mary Wilson, Florence Ballard, and Barbara Martin. They began performing around town before catching the attention of Smokey Robinson, who helped them secure a contract with Motown Records. Renamed the Supremes, they quickly rose to fame during the mid-1960s, becoming one of the most successful female singing groups in music history. Diana credited several individuals for inspiring and supporting her throughout her journey. Among these were Barry Gordy, founder of Motown Records, who served as both a mentor and the group's primary songwriter and producer. Additionally, Martha Reeves, lead singer of the Vandellas, encouraged Diana when she first started out and even allowed her to perform alongside the Vandellas. The Supremes paved the way for other African-American female artists seeking success in the industry. After leaving the group in 1970, Diana embarked on a highly successful solo career, releasing numerous hit singles like Ain't No Mountain High Enough and Touch Me in the Morning. Throughout her illustrious five-decade career, she has earned many accolades, including a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Grammys, an induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. To this day, Diana remains an inspiration for aspiring musicians worldwide. Ever since Diana Ross was a young girl growing up in Detroit, she had an unshakable love for music. She would often sing around the house, captivating her family with her powerful voice. At the tender age of 15, Diana formed a singing group called the Primettes, which later became the legendary Motown group, the Supremes. One particular experience that solidified Diana's passion for music was during a high school talent show. As she stepped onto the stage, dressed in a beautiful gown, she felt a rush of excitement and nerves. But as soon as she started singing, all those feelings vanished. Her soulful voice filled the room, leaving everyone in awe. That night, Diana realized that music wasn't just something she enjoyed doing, it was her true calling. Diana once shared, I always knew I wanted to be a singer, even when I was a little girl. And it was clear to anyone who heard her sing that she was destined for greatness. With each performance, Diana poured her heart and soul into her music, inspiring countless fans along the way. Through both triumphs and setbacks, Diana remained committed to her craft, proving herself to be one of the most resilient artists in the industry. Born into a large family in Detroit, Diana Ross faced significant challenges from the outset. Financially strapped, her parents struggled to support their children. Despite these hardships, young Diana discovered her love for music and performance. She joined a local church choir and began entering talent contests. As she grew older, Diana became determined to pursue a career in music. However, the entertainment industry was hardly welcoming. Many labels doubted her potential due to her race and gender. Refusing to give up, Diana teamed up with friends Mary Wilson and Florence Ballard, forming the group that would become the Supremes. The trio's journey wasn't easy. They initially encountered numerous rejections before signing with Motown Records. Even then, success didn't come quickly. They served as backup singers and faced grueling rehearsals while fighting against prejudices. But through persistence and dedication, the Supremes finally gained recognition, eventually becoming one of the most successful groups of all time. After leaving the Supremes, Diana launched a solo career filled with highs and lows. In the late 1970s, during a period of waning popularity, she took control of her career by establishing RCA Records' first black female, own label, earning respect as both an artist and entrepreneur. Throughout her career, Diana has shown immense creativity and adaptability, constantly reinventing herself to stay relevant amid changing musical landscapes. From humble beginnings marked by adversity to achieving international stardom, Diana Ross exemplifies determination and resilience. 
Her story serves as inspiration for aspiring artists navigating obstacles on their own paths toward success. Indeed, few have demonstrated such unwavering resolve in overcoming odds stacked heavily against them. After starting her music journey with the group, The Supremes' Diana Ross embarks on a successful solo career in 1970. Her first solo album, Diana Ross, includes the hit single, Ain't No Mountain High Enough, which quickly climbs to number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. This breakthrough moment establishes Ross as a powerful force in the industry, showcasing her ability to captivate audiences worldwide. In 1972, she stars in the biographical film Lady Sings the Blues. Portraying jazz legend Billie Holiday, Ross delivers a compelling performance, earning her a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Peers and critics alike praise her for bringing depth and emotion to the complex character, further solidifying her status as a multi-talented artist. Throughout the following decades, Diana Ross continues to release popular albums while exploring new genres like disco and R&B collaborations with artists like Lionel Richie and Marvin Gaye lead to more success and critical acclaim. Music critic Robert Kreisgau describes her voice as supple and emotive, highlighting its power to resonate with listeners. By the late 1980s, Ross steps into the role of a producer, creating her own label, Motown's RCA Records imprint, and releasing the album Work in Overtime. With this move, she gains even greater control over her creative direction, continuing to push boundaries and expand her musical horizons. Fast forward to 2021, when Ross releases Thank You, her first studio album in nearly two decades. At age 76, she proves that her talent remains undimmed, garnering widespread appreciation for her timeless sound and enduring artistry. As fellow musician Barry Gordy puts it, she has never lost her touch. Everything she does is magic. Diana Ross's artistic vision has been shaped by her humble beginnings in Detroit and her rise to fame as the lead singer of the Supremes. Her approach to music is deeply personal, often drawing from her own experiences and emotions to create songs that resonate with listeners. Ross once said, I am not a conventional person, and I have never followed conventions. This statement reflects her willingness to take risks and push boundaries in her music. She explores various genres, including R&B, pop, soul, and gospel, blending them seamlessly to create her distinctive sound. One of the defining aspects of Diana Ross's musical style is her powerful and emotive voice. She can switch effortlessly between soft, sultry tones and bold, assertive notes, captivating audiences with her raw talent and passion. Her ability to convey emotion through her vocals sets her apart from many other artists. Diana Ross's personal experiences and worldview are vividly represented in her work. For instance, her song Ain't No Mountain High Enough embodies her determination and resilience while Holmes speaks to her deep connection with family and community, these themes echo throughout her discography, reflecting her values and beliefs. Moreover, Ross's live performances showcase her magnetic stage presence and charismatic personality. Dazzling costumes, choreographed dance numbers, and audience interaction all contribute to her engaging shows. Through these elements, she creates an immersive experience that leaves fans enchanted. Ultimately, Diana Ross's unique artistic vision and creative process stem from her genuine love for music and performance. By sharing her talents and stories with the world, she continues to inspire generations of musicians and fans alike. Known as the Queen of Motown, Diana Ross has left an indelible mark on the music industry since her debut with the Supremes in the mid-1960s. Her powerful voice, captivating stage presence, and undeniable talent have shaped popular music for decades. According to Paul Green, a veteran music journalist and analyst, Diana Ross was one of the most influential female singers of all time. She had a string of hits with the Supremes, then went solo, and continued to score big with songs like Ain't No Mountain High Enough and Touch Me in the Morning. Ross broke barriers for women in music by taking charge of her career and becoming a successful solo artist after leaving the Supremes. She became a symbol of female empowerment and paved the way for future generations of female musicians. Her influence extends beyond just music, as she has also made significant contributions to film and fashion. With iconic roles in movies like Lady Sings the Blues and Mahogany, Ross proved herself to be a talented actress and style icon. Industry expert and author Tom Smith states Diana Ross's impact on pop culture cannot be overstated. From her groundbreaking work with the Supremes to her successful solo career, she has been a trailblazer in every sense of the word. 
and let's not forget her influence on fashion. She was a true trendsetter. Artists like Beyonce, Rihanna, and Mariah Carey have cited Ross as an inspiration for their own careers. Carey even named Ross as one of her biggest influences during an acceptance speech at the BET Awards. Carey said, I have always looked up to Diana Ross. She is a legend, a woman who embodies strength, grace, and fearlessness. I am honored to follow in her footsteps. From her early days with the Supremes to her ongoing solo career, Diana Ross has continuously pushed boundaries and defied expectations. Her impact and influence will continue to resonate throughout the music industry for years to come. Diana Ross has always been dedicated to uplifting her community, even outside of her successful music career. Born on March 26, 1944, in Detroit, Michigan, she grew up valuing hard work, perseverance, and social responsibility. These principles would later shape both her artistry and philanthropy. As one of the most influential figures in popular music, Ross's humanitarian endeavors reflect her commitment to positive change. She has supported various charities focused on education, healthcare, and empowerment for underprivileged communities. For instance, she actively advocates for HIV-AIDS awareness through AMFAR, participating in numerous fundraising events over the years. Moreover, Diana Ross established the Diana Ross Foundation, which aims to improve children's lives by providing access to educational opportunities and resources. Her passion for nurturing young talent extends beyond just financial support. She often shares encouraging messages and advice during public appearances and interviews. Her love for family also remains central to her values. Despite being a global superstar, Ross consistently prioritizes spending quality time with her five children and grandchildren, believing that strong familial bonds contribute significantly to individual success. In summary, while best known for her iconic musical contributions, Diana Ross leads a rich personal life shaped by core values centered around compassion, resilience, and dedication. Through her extensive philanthropic efforts, she continues to inspire hope and foster growth among those who need it most. Moreover, Diana Ross has left a significant mark on the music scene. Her powerful voice and unique style have influenced countless artists. Hits like Ain't No Mountain High Enough not only showcase her talent, but also set a standard for emotional expression in music. Her time with the Supremes changed the landscape of pop and R&B, proving that women could take center stage and lead the way. As for her future, Diana envisions continuing to inspire newer generations. She encourages young artists to stay true to themselves and their vision. She believes originality is key, and they should never be afraid to share their stories through their music. Her advice for aspiring professionals emphasizes resilience and hard work. She often shares that setbacks are part of the journey and should be seen as stepping stones rather than obstacles. By staying dedicated and believing in their unique voice, they can carve their path in the industry. This approach not only builds character, but also prepares them for the challenges ahead. Born in Detroit in 1944, Diana Ross embarked on a remarkable journey in the music industry. As the lead singer of the Supremes, she brought the group to unprecedented success with her powerful voice and captivating stage presence. In the late 60s, driven by her passion, an innovative spirit, she ventured into a solo career, releasing hits like Ain't No Mountain High Enough and Touch Me in the Morning. Throughout her five-decade-long career, Diana continuously reinvented herself, exploring various genres from R&B and pop to jazz and gospel. Her ability to adapt and innovate resonated deeply with audiences worldwide, earning her numerous accolades and establishing her as a cultural icon. Diana's influence extended beyond music, delving into acting and entrepreneurship. She starred in films such as Lady Sings the Blues, which earned her an Academy Award nomination, showcasing her versatility as a performer. Moreover, she founded her own record label and management company, further leaving her indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Despite facing adversity early in life, growing up impoverished in Detroit, Diana never lost sight of her dreams. Through hard work, determination, and unwavering self-belief, she became one of the most successful female artists of all time. This serves as a testament to the transformative power of creativity and perseverance. As we reflect upon Diana Ross's extraordinary achievements, let us remember the importance of following our passions and pushing boundaries. With dedication and resilience, each of us can create something truly inspiring, just like Ms. Ross has done throughout her illustrious career. So go ahead, dream big, and watch those aspirations come to life. After all, it was Diana who once said, 
You can't just sit there and wait for people to give you that golden dream. You've got to get out there and make it happen for yourself. As we take time to appreciate the career of Diana Ross, let's remember her influential work in music. From her early days with the Supremes to her successful solo career, she has created countless memorable moments. Her powerful voice and charismatic stage presence have left a lasting impact on the industry. Diana Ross was born on March 26, 1944, in Detroit, Michigan. She began her musical journey in the late 50s when she formed the Primettes, which later became the Supremes. The group achieved great success throughout the 60s, with hits like Where Did Our Love Go and Baby Love. In 1970, after gaining experience and confidence, Diana embarked on a solo career. Her debut album, Diana Ross, included popular songs such as Reach Out and Touch and Ain't No Mountain High Enough. These tracks demonstrated her ability to adapt to new styles while maintaining her unique sound. Throughout the decades, Diana continued to release albums featuring various genres, including R&B, pop, disco, and jazz. Throughout her impressive career, Diana Ross earned numerous accolades, including a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But beyond awards and statistics lies a vibrant artistic spirit who has inspired generations through song. Now, it's your turn. Share your favorite memories of Diana Ross's work and legacy in the comments below. Let us know how her music has resonated with you over the years. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the artists who shape our lives through creativity and passion. Together, let's honor the incredible contributions of this legendary performer.